My name is Karen Watanabe Choi, and I'm a therapist with the Family Strengthening Center, and I also help with grant writing and development. In particular, I've been working with a grandmother who adopted her three grandsons this year um, through um, who are in the foster care system. All three boys are very are under the age of five, so she has her hands full. Two of the children she's had pretty much since they were born, and so their bond is established. However, uh, one of the children had spent some time with his um, with his biological mother. Well, his parents were both drug addicts, so he was neglected. Um, he was severely neglected. The grandma would go to go check on him, like she would find him, you know, um, basically um, penned in a corner um, with just like surrounded by food wrappers and in a dirty diaper. And so that's why she was brought in to adopt the children. So. He wasn't doing well in school, kind of do doing whatever he wants, um, being aggressive with his siblings and things like that. So um, these are all really common behaviors for kids that have had early childhood trauma or disruptive placements. And you know, through the kinds of therapy we're doing, it's really amazing. Like when you're not yelling, you know, all these spontaneous hugs happen. And in our sessions, when his grandma's doing a really good job following him and meeting his needs, he just will just tell her all these really you know, mushy things about how much he loves her and it's just adorable, you know. I mean, you can tell that he's really feeling um, loved and, and, really, and really loves his grandma and does appreciate what, what she's done.